Chapter 22, Electronic and NMR Spectra of Molecules, Section 22.3, UVVIS Spectra of Electronic Transitions. Most UVVIS spectra of molecules are not vibrationally resolved. Why? The first reason is this. An atom does not vibrate, and therefore the UVVIS spectrum of an atom contains sharp spectral lines. A diatomic molecule has one vibrational mode. The UVVIS spectrum of a diatomic molecule may have multiple spectral lines that correspond to the same electronic transition but different vibrational transitions. For example, let's look at a potential energy surface of a diatomic molecule right here. Now let's do one electronic transition. This is a vertical excitation because the nuclei do not have time to change their positions during a ultra-fast electronic transition that takes place usually within one femtosecond. And now if we look at this vertical transition, we can go from this uh, vibrational quantum number zero to zero, from zero to one, from zero to two, from zero to three or to four to five. So the same electronic transition is accompanied by many different vibrational transitions. And in this graph, very likely from uh, this 0 to 2 transition has the largest intensity due to the maximum of this vibrational wave function uh, matching with this maximum of this vibrational wave function. But anyway, we see multiple spectral lines just because the electronic transition is accompanied by multiple vibrational transitions. And not only that, uh, the vibrational transition is accompanied by rotational excitations and also rotational de-excitations. Those rotational excitations and de-excitations may broaden the spectral lines. So those are not going to be really sharp lines. A polyatomic molecule may have 3n minus 6 or 3n minus 5 vibrational modes. If you have a nonlinear molecule, you have 3n minus 6 vibrational modes. If you have a linear polyatomic molecule, you're going to have 3n minus 5 vibrational modes. In that case, the electronic transition may be accompanied by many, many different vibrational excitations, and each vibrational excitation is accompanied by numerous rotational transitions, including rotational excitation of the R branch and rotational D excitation of the P branch. Therefore, the UVS spectra of polyatomic molecules are not vibrational, uh, vibrationally resolved. Uh, most UVVS spectra are not vibrationally resolved, and there are several more reasons. Uh, reason two, each molecule may be in a different chemical environment, especially in the liquid phase or in a solution. Uh, chemical uh, surroundings do affect the energies of the ground electronic state and the excited electronic state. And that's why the um, change of the energy uh, in the uh, electronic transition can be slightly different depending on the chemical environment. Uh, the third reason is this, the line width of each transition is broadened due to the short lifetime of the excited state. Uh, this arises from the uncertainty principle for time and energy. Uh, delta E times delta T is greater than one half of each bar. Well, this is just because the time operator and the Hamiltonian operator do not commute. So we can evaluate the commutator of the time operator and the Hamiltonian operator. The Hamiltonian operator is equivalent to this IH bar D over DT operator. So we do this, uh, it turns out this uh, commutator 
of time and Hamiltonian is equivalent to negative IH bar. This is now zero. That means uh, time and Hamiltonian do not commute. And within a very small time period, we will have a larger uh, uncertainty associated with energy. A short lifetime of a species in the order of 10 to the power of negative 14 seconds results in a very large uncertainty of its energy. So you can just use uh, uh, h bar over 2 divided by this uh, time period and roughly we have a uh, estimate of the uncertainty of the energy which can be as large as 10 to the power of negative 20 joule or a thousand joule per mole. Uh, the last reason is this, you know, we have rotational transitions and accompanied by some uh, centrifugal distortion because uh, those uh, rotors are not necessarily rigid rotors. Uh, the radius of the rotation may change. And also there's coupling between rotations and vibrations. There are also coupling between uh, inharmonic vibrational modes. Uh, all those further broaden the UVVS peaks. Sharp UV vis peaks are observed only for atoms.